thank you for coming. As you know, at 4.22 a.m. yesterday morning, police were called to a serious criminal trespass at 20 James Street, Gilberton, where sadly, Mr. Michael Young, 61 years of that address, uh, was found by police with life-threatening injuries. Michael's still in the Royal Adelaide Hospital and his, his condition at the moment is extremely critical. The offences that occurred yesterday have been declared a major crime and major crime investigation branch is leading the investigation and everyone in major crime is actively involved at the moment in that investigation and we've been supported by other areas from across the crime service. I understand that there will be enormous interest in this case but I just ask you to respect the fact there'll be some things today that I won't be able to tell you because to do so would compromise the investigation and nobody wants to do that and nobody wants to contribute to the loss or destruction of evidence. Um, forensic response section have been processing the scene all yesterday and into the evening and again today and we expect to retain possession of the house until tomorrow. Um, I can give you a little bit of a time frame of some of the events as they unfolded in the early hours of yesterday morning. So at 12.05 a.m. a black BMW was seen to drive slowly along James Street and there was also um, people on foot seen. At 23 minutes past 12, five people were seen at a premises on Dutton Street and we believe they are the same people that were in James Street. At 2.45 a.m. a black BMW crashed at Sevier Road at Tennyson and five people fled. At around that time we know that offenders were walking along streets trying towards the houses and attempting to steal cars and in fact did steal a Mazda from Westlakes which was recovered uh, yesterday evening at Dapperham Park. That vehicle wasn't reported at the time because the owner didn't know that it was missing until late yesterday. At 3.40 a.m. yesterday morning, a torch was seen in the vicinity of Michael's home and a person was seen to be trying to open the door of his son's vehicle. At about 4.20, two people were seen on James Street uh, moving along James Street, but the quality of that vision is quite poor. <coughs> Major Crime are working very closely with Operation Mandrake, who have been investigating a crime series um, that's occurred over the last few days and involves up to 15 incidents where people are either trying to break into homes or steal vehicles at Gilberton, Walkerville, Medindi, Henley Beach, Fulham, and Tennyson. And as I said, Operation Mandrake um, and detectives from across the metropolitan area are actively seeking those offenders, um, most of who are known to them. And they'll continue with that investigation and work in collaboration with Major Crime. At the same time, all of the resources of Major Crime are currently devoted to this investigation and are being supported by other areas across the crime service. It's early days in the investigation, but I can say that I'm very happy with the progress of the investigation today, and we're pursuing uh, a number of positive lines of inquiries. Um, I hope that we can get an outcome for the family in this matter, but that doesn't take away um, the terrible suffering that the family are, are experiencing at the moment um, and the injuries to Michael. I'm happy to, uh, sorry, also what we're looking for is anyone with dash cam image. Um, we want to expand that time from midnight to 5am yesterday within a 500 metre radius of James Street. And as well in this case, we ask that anybody with any information at all about those that are committing these crimes across Adelaide, these home invasions, or anybody that has any information about the terrible crime that happened in James Street to contact Crime Stoppers immediately. I'm happy to take your questions. I believe the, uh, <coughs> five, uh, the five males that were seen around the street are uh, involved in the other 15 incidents that you're currently working on, or is it a, a, a different group? 
The problem um, with these offenders is whilst there's five in a car at one time, people it's a very fluid group. People come into the group, people come out, people do things on their own. So it's very fluid, but we're looking at those people, their friends and associates, um, and trying to work out who may or may not be involved. Um, we're not just focused on that group. We're going to consider every possibility. Um, whilst it's likely to be somebody from that group, um, we need to be pursuing other lines of inquiry as well. Is it believed that Mr Young was targeted by the other group, or is it just a, a coincidence because he happened to have a nice car in the driveway? It's difficult to say why. A lot of the offending seems quite random and spontaneous and across diverse areas across Adelaide. Um, but it's most likely that he was being targeted for his vehicle and or um, small portable items to steal. How many offenders do you think you could possibly are possibly looking for up to how many? Uh, we don't know because it's it's very very early days, um, and we're looking at that group to see if they're involved or if any of their friends or associates or people connected with them are involved. So. We just need to see where the investigation takes us and not develop any bias towards any particular type of offender at this stage and keep an open mind. Have any charges been laid over the previous 15 incidents? Not yet, but um, I have every confidence with the work I know that's been done by Operation Mandrake that those offenders will be found and they will be arrested. Over what time frame are you talking about other crimes? Could this sort of stretch back to even last year? Uh, these wouldn't be the first time these people have committed these crimes, but certainly I know that there's been an escalation in the last couple of days where we've seen um, these 15 offences um, committed by these people. And as I say, I'm got every confidence that Operation Mandrake will locate them and arrest them. What charges would you expect to lay in relation to the attack against Mr Young? Um, it's early days, but obviously it's an aggravated serious criminal trespass and, and an extremely serious assault against him. But we need to see how um, how Michael goes and um, whether or not he recovers. Can you provide any sort of detail on the injuries you suffered in the attack? No, I won't talk about the injuries because um, whilst they're not public, that gives us an investigation advantage if we hear somebody talking about injuries. So I won't comment on the injuries. I won't um, comment on any weapons that may or may not have been used. Um, Were you yeah. able to get any information from his son who lived there? Yeah, it's... It, it's there was some speculation yesterday about um, his son being taken away in a police car. There was nothing untoward on that. What was actually providing support to his son, who's obviously distraught by it. His son's a good person and has absolutely nothing to do with this. Fortunately, he also wasn't the victim of the terrible assault that Michael suffered. Do you understand Mr. Young confronted those men when they came to his house? Uh, we don't know what happened. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.